So in this video, we're gonna use displacement texture and bake it into the mesh. So I'm gonna start off using one of the assets from True Assets just to use the textures. And I mean, like that, that's actually not too bad, but it's flat. Now I wanna come down here and find my displacement map, which is here. Let's just find it, excellent. Now I'm just gonna duplicate the mesh as I go from here into the modifiers, add modifier, generate, add modifiers, deform, displace. And you can see how it's popped up. From here, we're gonna go new texture, click on the thing on the right hand side to go into the texture editor thingamabobs. Let's go open, find our texture, select displace, wonderful. Now, as you see, nothing has really changed and that's because it's got four points, that's it. So I can press tab to go into edit mode, right click, subdivide, 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 subdivide a few times. There we go, that was the result I was after. So from here, I'm just gonna press maybe 0.1 just to bring it back a little bit. We'll change that in a sec though. From here, I'm gonna go add modifier. Let's go into generate subdivision surface. However, I'm gonna move it above the displace and uh, crank that puppy up. Oh, there we go, look at that. That's looking schmick. I am gonna change it to simple though. And then that way, we're not smoothing out, we're just adding extra geometry. Now, if we go into wireframe mode, we can see the difference. Gonna turn off optimal display. Oh, there we go. Now we can see how dense this texture is. The other thing I just noticed is that it doesn't seem to be the right size. The actual image seems to be tileable. And just looking into the material, I can see that they've changed the scale. So let's just put it back to how it should be. There we go. That now matches the wireframe. Excellent. However, now we've got a stupid dense mesh. Let's clean that up. Add modifier, deform. Add modifier, generate, decimate. So we kind of want to bring it back down. We can see at the moment there's 65,000 faces. Let's get that down. I'm just going to go 0.1. And now we're down to 12,000 faces. So I've just duplicated it so you can see the difference between 65,000 and 12,000. And obviously this one here is going to be a lot cleaner. Um, let's just go shade smooth and shade smooth. Now we've added geometry to a plane based off a texture. Well, I mean, but now we actually got to apply our modifiers. Let's just select our mesh, select all, convert to mesh, and that'll apply all the modifiers. And wham, bam, there's our texture. Mesh. 